My name is Alan Costley and I am head of the uh, Diagnostic Division. Now the diagnostics are, if you like, the eyes and the ears of the machine. The diagnostic system measures in real time the plasma shape and position. It feeds that information to controllers who they in turn control actuators and those actuators basically push the plasma and that is that there is a lot of, uh, a lot of energy in the plasma and it's important to um, to keep the plasma within uh, uh, certain regimes of operation. Uh, for example, if the plasma was to um, touch the vessel wall, then it's possible that it could actually lead to damage of the vessel wall. So this is a, um, what we call a machine protection function, and it's very important, and it's the, the most important function that diagnostics serve. In addition to that, the diagnostic system provide information on the state of the plasma, and in particular, how good the plasma is from a fusion point of view. And uh, those measurements are used in validating the models of the uh, fusion process and of the performance of the plasma, which will establish our knowledge base on which we can build uh, uh, machines that come after ITER, uh, demonstration fusion reactors, for example. So they have these two basic functions for control and protection and also for physics evaluation. It's necessary to measure a large number of uh, different parameters in order to satisfy the functional needs. Uh, for example, we measure the uh, plasma density, uh, the plasma temperature, impurities in the plasma, which unfortunately uh, come in from interactions with the vessel wall. We have to measure the current in the plasma, the spatial distribution of the current in the plasma. And then we measure the um, uh, emission from the plasma. There are very considerable technical challenges associated with uh, installing and operating diagnostic systems on ITER. Um, ITER will, uh, will go to regimes in, in fusion performance far exceeding anything that's been achieved before. Um, many people ask, can we measure everything that's necessary to measure? Well, the, the answer is we can, in fact, achieve all the measurements necessary for the basic machine performance. However, within the plasma, there are many physical phenomena which are going on and are of interest to building the knowledge base for fusion. And some of these phenomena we can measure with our existing systems, others we cannot. And in a parallel development program going on in the, uh, in the research labs of the fusion program, people are developing new diagnostic techniques. And as they become available and are suitably validated, in principle they can be brought onto the ITER machine in future years.